Special thanks to New Realm Photography. Reach Ryan Moore on Facebook. Remember, if you're stopped by the police for any reason, you have a right to remain silent. Use it. Undoubtedly one of the best track and field athletes the state of Ohio or the United States has ever seen. Find out what she's doing today in the story of redemption. When we return, this is GSA. portion of the program where we do the work and my next guest is a beautiful young lady a former state champion for four years running from the Bowser High School as well as the United States youth team member in 2007 as well as the Olympic qualifier in 2008 also in 2008 and 2007 one of USA Today's top 30 track athletes you thought Eric Kennard was the guy back then and what happened well this young lady was the real deal please be kind everyone and welcome Miss Mishan Get right down to it. Thank you first and foremost, man, for joining us, Thank especially you. on short notice. <laughs> right. I mean, I would get right to the point, and you have been what I might call MIA for a long time. I was actually wondering when I saw all that Eric Kennard accomplished uh, this past summer and everything, and shouts out to him once again. Um, I thought about you because I remember that time period, and I remember how successful you had been. And if they thought, you know, he was obviously. Uh, for, you know, with a lot of accolades and things, you you know what I'm saying, you had done quite a bit yourself. So, I mean, take us back a little bit and, and kind of fill us in on what's been going on. Um, well, basically, um, in a nutshell, um, transitioning from high school to college was uh, a little bit rougher for me than I think people pegged it to be. Um, not just with track, but just in my personal life, you know, being able to be out there on my own um, and figuring things out uh, that way. So, um, really, um, I spent a year at the University of Michigan um, I spent two at Texas Tech. Um, the years at Texas Tech being much better than the one I did at the University of Michigan, which would be the reason for the transfer. Um, and then uh, going into my senior year, I decided that I wanted to try to go pro early. So I relocated from Texas Tech, which is in Lubbock, Texas, to Austin, Texas. Oh. And I joined um, a professional training group with Michael Rogers and Bianca Knight, if anybody's familiar with track and those names. Um, definitely would stick out um, and I did that for a little bit and financially I couldn't do what I need to do as far as the weightlifting program so I kind of had to come back and start over so that's kind of everything in a, in a short. That in itself um, having to get used to uh, working with a different philosophy in track and field at that point feeling like I already knew everything it, was, it wasn't a good uh, combo. Oh, well, I, I wasn't hard-headed. I wasn't right. hard-headed. I just wasn't very <laughs> trusting of, of, of what the coach was doing. Not that he was a bad coach, once again. Like, I, it was, it's a great program, but it just was not for me. Right. So. We know determination and focus is the key to success. Mm -hmm. Tell us about how you stayed focused during, during the trials and tribulations. I understand you had an injury also yes. during that time. Right? Yes. Go ahead um, oh, I would say... Um, First and foremost, uh, track is something that um, I identify with as 
as it being who I am. A lot of athletes don't like to um, refer to uh, their sport or their talent being who they are, but I don't mind that. Um, because without track, I, I wouldn't even be sitting here. So, so for me, I am track and field. Um, at that time, it was just very difficult. It's kind of hard to, to put into words how being young and um, j transitioning outside of the, that, that world, um, from going from being so sheltered, um, having that, that help to just being thrown out there, like, okay, now it's your turn to figure it out. So um, I, I did lose focus for a while, but I think any young woman uh, in that situation, any young woman going to college does because they, you have to find you right. um, outside of what you do. Um, oh my gosh, I love, I've loved running since I was about seven. That's when I first started. So um, I don't think I've ever lost that, that feeling for it. And it's very rare to be that young and, and to be so into it and to be so focused on it and to want it so bad at such an early age. Um, but I, it was just always been something that I've just loved. Now, when you switched and you said, you know, you kind of were uncomfortable and not as trusting because mm -hmm. some, you were in the hands, great hands of your father's, well, yes. you know, you're, that's what you're used to. Did you ever question like yourself and wondering, was it all, did you paint the picture different? Um, there, there were times where it was like, am I, am I really that good? Do I really still have it? There have been times like that because of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, the hating and the, the rumors about what I'm doing to be fast um, at such a young age. So there has been times like that, but only at my lowest points. When I was winning and, and when I was gaining all of my accolades, not at all. I, not at all. You couldn't tell me that I wasn't good. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we know you're very good. And hold on, we're going to get into some more of this stuff when we come back. we got to get to the break, people, because we got to pay the bills around here. But there's, like I said, there's more to this story and obviously more to it than track for me, Sean. We'll get into that when we come back. This is the show of Players Watch, people. This is James Charlie Late Night. This is me, Sean Graham. we got the ladies and series. We'll be right back. Game Savvy Late Night, brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply. Mention GSL for special offers. Supply your beauty at Powell's, 901 Nebraska. The Butler, Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Call him at 419-407-0880. Evolution. Step into evolution and close the deal. 519 Reynolds. In a situation you can't talk your way out of, call Jerry P. Purcell, attorney at law, 419-578-2300. Be sure to check out the rebuilt GSL website and watch the GSL Year in Review 2012. GameSavvyOnline.com. Toledo Volleyball Club. Still producing scholar athletes annually. Rosie's Italian Grill. Mention Game Savvy for dine-in special. 606 North McCord. Remember, if you're stopped by the police for any reason, you have a right to remain silent. Use it. It's like really wherever you put the where you put the camera. Well, now that you know all the players are watching, what are you waiting for? To advertise your business, organization, or event on Game Savvy TV, just give us a call or call the Savvy Television Headquarters at 213-842-7225. Game Savvy Late Night. It's the show the players watch.
with our guest, and our lovely guest, I must say, Ms. Mishan Graham is still with us. So Ms. Graham, before the break, we talked about the track career. We talked about some of the successes, some of the transitions. Um, you're a young lady now who has left Bowser High School here in Toledo. You're now University of Michigan, but then you move on to Texas Tech now. Uh, another completely different transition, very early in your life. Uh, so at this point, um, you're talking about the idea that being alone and, and dealing with all of that stuff. What, I guess, what was maybe the, the biggest challenge, uh, personally, the, the biggest thing off the track? Um, I think that a lot of young people don't realize um, before they're able to get out into the real world is that life is always going to challenge you. Um, no matter what, at, at any time, things can be going great and all of a sudden you get this curveball. So, I think one of the biggest things that I had to learn is to not get stuck in what I was going through, but to get through it. Um, I had a big, big problem with that for a long time and it affected my track, it affected school, it affected my personal life, it affected everything. But once I grabbed hold of it, um, I was able to do a lot more to, to push forward a lot quicker, so. Now, being a young lady, you have endured so much success yeah. that those accomplishments affected your life and also your family's life. Um, I think for all of us it has opened up many, 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 many doors. Um, even five years out of, of running 52.5, uh, to this day I still get many, many opportunities that I probably wouldn't get had I not accomplished these things. So I think for all of us it, it, it was instrumental in helping us move forward. Um, with, with not being regular, with, with getting to do things that people only dream of doing or wish they could do. I, I'm sitting here listening to your story and I'm just astounded because, number one, you're from Toledo. Yes. And the thing from, about that is I don't believe that people from their own hometown get enough credit where credit is more than due. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel with your peers coming back and visiting, people you've known for a long time, um, did you find differences in the way they reacted to you? Um, I would say when I was here, um, the, you get the love and the hate equally. And the hate is not so much in your face, but it's, it's kind of like peeking around the corners. Um, but with leaving and having not uh, accomplished as much as I did while I was here, um, those people became far and in between. So um, not too many of them left now. But, uh, you know, at the time it was a very uh, prominent time for new friendships and new relationships and stuff. Not so much anymore, but uh, well, that's life, I guess. I think you'll agree that, you know, your success kind of weeded it out. It weeds people. out, yes, yeah. absolutely. Perfect word, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real quick, what were your specialties, too? Because we didn't kind of touch on that. Obviously, you were very versatile mm -hmm. with things in track. And then you mentioned your, your 50. Uh, what was it, 52? 52, 52 five. Five. So, you know, tell some people who, who kind of don't know what that means, what race is that? Yeah, everybody's to. always confused. I did long jump, triple jump, hey. high jump, uh, 100, 200, 400, 4 by 8, 4 by mile, 4 by 4, 4 by, four, by 2, 4 by 1. I specialize in the 400. That's my race. Yeah, see, you got talk, you got tripping on Eric Kennard like he was a bad boy. And you are a bad boy, yeah, I'm just saying, you know. But again, a, a lot for you to concentrate on. And when we start to think about, uh, you know, when you were, like you said, alone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there were times, though, where off the track, some things were, were a little bit more than just a simple distraction. Talk, right. talk about that a little bit. Um, <laughs> where to begin? Um, there were definitely times where it was like, I don't even know if I can move forward as a whole, as a whole person. Forget track, forget school, just me. Um, I've definitely hit some of my lowest lows. I, I always sit and say I just don't think that things could really ever be that low for me again. Um, so I guess getting to this point, um, it, I'm amazed at myself. I don't, I, 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 I can't put into words how much I've endured to the point where I just don't think that anybody else could handle the things that I've had to go through. Right. And, and, and speaking of that, um, I know you've been talking to some people about maybe trying to tell your story mm -hmm. in, in maybe cinematic or documentary form mm -hmm. and getting into some of those details. Why do you feel like you want to do that and why you want to share that message? Um, I, I feel like I'm a woman of character. Um, 
insurmountable. Um, I think that even though I'm only 22, I think I've endured things that women by the age of 35 have not even had to deal with. So what people don't, don't recognize most time is that we all have struggles early on when it's late, but there are a lot of young women who just don't have anybody who can relate. And I always say, you can, you can always talk to somebody about what you've done or what you've been through, but nobody is ever going to understand unless, unless they've experienced it. And I've experienced some things like to the core that I feel like I can, I can say to a little girl, it's okay. It's okay to have been. No, it's all right. It's all right. But you feel like it made you all stronger. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Your soul, yeah. your strength, mm -hmm. your personality, mm -hmm. your mind. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're absolutely. still here, baby. It's all yeah. right. And you're still here. Speaking on telling your story to young girls, this comes from Coach Co mm -hmm. from Bowser. Bowser. Mm -hmm. Mishan Graham is without a doubt the greatest and most versatile high school track athlete this area has ever produced. Young girls in local playgrounds will be heard saying, when I grow up, I want to be like Michon Graham from Bowser. Do you Woo. consider yourself? Yeah. Do you consider yourself like Michon a role model and touch on that. What what gives you the drive to be a role model for young girls? Um, absolutely. I think uh, with track and field in the city of Toledo, it was dead. Um, it, it was very dead. I think I, looking back, I came in and I did something that was amazing. Um, and it took me a long time to not be scared to feel that way, to not be afraid to say that. But it was. It, 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 it's not going to be duplicated for a very long time. And w with my talents alone, um, if, if I can get a girl to, to, to be young and dedicated to something, then I've done, mm -hmm. I've done a lot. So. And that's what that's it is, ladies and gentlemen. The lady has certainly done a lot. Um, I wish we had a lot more time to do it, but like I said, Mishan is, is considering working on a project here that it may be a documentary that will fill in the blanks for you. But for now, we just want to thank her for her time and being here with us, everybody. Um, you know, what do I say? Decorated athlete. And, um, and look out for me this season, because I'm back. So. <laughs> and she's back. There it is. And that's all I had to say, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, uh, me Sean Graham, everybody. <laughs> hey, check it out, everybody. Wait, we'll be right back, everybody. Yes, sir. Remember, if you're stopped by the police for any reason, you have a right to remain silent. Use it.
I went underground, a bar in Sandusky, to find lyrics and laughs. Upon arrival, one performer asked me, was there a liquor store close by? Unfortunately, we were in a bar, and although I wasn't some mark-ass buster scouting for tricks, it was clear the entertainment had just begun. By first glance, the performers seemed like an unlikely bunch. However, the full laughter and cheers from a lively crowd suggested otherwise. Each performer left their heart on the stage as we shared in some of the many faces of Northwest Ohio's talent. So I'm sitting here with the organizer, creator, and performer of Lyrics and Laughs, Steve Burton. How are you doing tonight? Good, Risa. How are you? I am great. Thanks for asking. Well, tell us a little bit about what went into organizing this event and what your vision was for tonight. A lot, a lot of hard work, a lot of money, a lot of driving around, hustling tickets. You guys know how it is. When you're in the underground, you got to hustle them tickets. That's what I did. Did a lot of it. You put together a summit of hip hop and comedy. Tell us about the people that performed tonight and what inspired you to contact them. Um, what inspired me was I have known comedian issues for 20 years. Down to grind, a partner crime, he's down, and that's how we put it together. Issues got, got with D Hawk and Al Boogie to, to make it happen. So there was a lot of talent tonight. Steve, he put together a great show. We like to thank Down to Grind, Com Comedian Issues, Northwest Ohio's own Israel, Al Boogie, D Hawk, the whole gang. We had a good time tonight, huh? Yes, we did. I got to give a shout out to TS Kid Corporation and my man Big M for helping me put this on, too. I really appreciate it. And we're going to be back. We're going to do some more stuff with Steve Burton, right? Yes, we are. Summertime all the time. We'll look for us in the summer. But Game Savvy, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. things. It's Game Savvy Late Night. Stop being so surprised. Oh, he said it for me. Game Savvy Late Night in this motherfucker. from Sandusky, Ohio, here at the Underground. This was Lyrics and Laughs, a full summit where hip-hop meets comedy. we like to thank Steve Burton and Down the Grind for inviting us out, Comedian Issues, Hometown Hero, Fremont, Northwest Ohio's own, Israel, Al Boogie, D-Hawk, Crazy 8, everybody, the whole gang. We had a whole lot of fun. It was full of entertainment. And this is what we do at Game Savvy Late Night. We'll see you guys next time. Game Savvy Late Night, Toledo's late night show, Sunday mornings at 1 a.m., right after Saturday Night Live on WNWO. The motto for the gym is no excuses, just results, because I won't allow anyone to come in here and not see the results. If they have the will to do it, then I walk them through it. It keeps me motivated to come back, which is most important, to come at least three times a week to look forward to Well, I myself have tried other gyms, so I know coming here is just, everybody's involved, and, and they're so welcoming. I was 54 pounds heavier than I am now, um, but she just loved me, worked through it with me, encouraged me. That's what I think about Transformate. I think of family. Um, it's not like any other gym, really. I've been to other gyms, and, you know, there you're just a number. You know, you're just another person walking through the turnstile. We joined it together, the boot camp matched up with the weightlifting for the strength and conditioning work out of your life. Come on, man. It's beautiful. <laughs>